Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about some uh, quick uh, Git commands uh, that you might find helpful. So let's get started. So I am right now on this uh, particular uh, branch and uh, you can take a quick look. And let's say I don't really like the change I made the last and I want to go back to this particular change. The easiest way to do that is essentially say git uh, reset ahead and going back one. And if you take a quick look, it's basically uh, would put my change back in here. And uh, I have some change here and this is where it is. And if I uh, want, I can essentially uh, discard this change. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, basically my change is lost and my uh, history is all gone and I've reverted back to one commit or um, basically uh, gone back to uh, one commit. And this can be very useful if you are just making uh, local commit changes and uh, it works perfectly. Uh, just to, um, let's say uh, I make some another quick change. I want to show you another uh, command you can use. And, uh, Let's say I change is new. So we have a change and another command which is quite similar to the git reset that you might find useful is called the git revert is uh, basically if you have pushed your changes to a remote and you don't want the history to be changed, uh, you can use git revert and the syntax is fairly similar. You can say git revert uh, head tilde one for example if you wanted to go back to so if you look at it it's basically uh, made that change and uh, it's going to be shown up here and you can see my change has been reverted back and I can decide what I want to do with this thing so here let's say if I got the change okay I know I this is what I really want so I'm going to make the change here and then I will say git commit minus am add change and basically uh, with this the advantage is it gives you a chance to uh, make the change but then it will show up as a different commit so the history will uh, be essentially add one more um, commit log and it will show you what's going on. So that's the essential difference between git reset and uh, git revert. If you want to uh, know the details of it, I have found uh, basically in source tree, if you go to uh, this getting it right and uh, taking a quick look, reset, checkout and revert and you can find a little bit more details as to how, what you can do. There are essentially some other flags you can use for uh, doing the reset and revert. Uh, the one I showed you by default is called the mixed flag. It gives you the opportunity to change your working area. So that's uh, one thing. That's another thing I wanted to show you was uh, what I find sometimes useful is called the stash. And let's say uh, I am making some more changes here. And uh, let's say I have some changes here and I'm going on doing something. And for some reason, somebody wants me to fix something on branch feature cool. And I don't really want to um, discard these changes. So what can I do? My option is to essentially call what is stash. So what you can do is in a repository, you can say stash changes. And uh, I can say my cool changes. And you have the option to select the state changes or keep the state changes but in this case I don't want to keep the state changes basically I want to just stash it away and here are my changes and uh, if I want to look at my stashes it will show you show you show my stashes here that's where my change was so let's go back to uh, and uh, let's go back to Dwala for example and I can essentially feature cool for example I can maybe uh, go back to the checkout feature cool and I do some things on that 
and uh, I could be all good. And let's say uh, later on, I want to go back to my stash changes. The easiest way is you can just select the stash and you can say apply stash. Uh, and you can delete the stash after applying it. So which is what I normally would end up doing because it's a kind of a temporary thing. And I say, okay. And if I apply the stashes uh, and you can see the changes are back in again. So it applied my stash changes and keep, um, see here are the stash changes, updated stream, some more changes. And uh, this is a, actually a quick way to save your um, temporary information and bring it back if you want to. So thanks for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.